here we are with the realization that, oh my God, this is going to take some work. Yes, it is, but you're going to have a heck of a bench by the time you're done. So, uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We've got the mortises in. Um, and so today I'd like to get tenons cut and fitted. Maybe we'll get glued up. That would be ideal if we could get glued up. But we have to get everything shaped. Uh, we have to get all of our inside surfaces cleaned up because uh, there's no way to get at those later. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that. Um, and if we can, we can uh, start to glue up these trestles. If not, we'll start gluing them tomorrow. Um, and then press it. Yeah, this is really simple. Yeah. I, when, you, when you get the hang of it, you don't have to do this with each joint, but you can see the difference. So rather than getting out your fancy calipers and measuring this, you just make a drift instead. And oh, this is loose, and that's loose, and that's loose, and I get really tight over here. So uh, that kind of information is valuable. Clean this up first. Make the mortises perfect. And then we'll go work on the tenons. scratches that mark left and now I've got a flat so I get rid of the corner of that flat and work my way down just with a chisel so one method is to take a cabinet makers rasp and work it downhill I want to work down towards the long fibers so these are the longer fibers these are the short fibers just by virtue of the cut and I'll work downhill and notice I'm cutting this way I'm not cutting this way as well down here I can make a cleanup pass. Of course, the problem with this cleanup pass is that it's pretty coarse. Cool. This is the tool I prefer, though. This is spoke shave. Um, and essentially, it's a bench plane. So it's set up at a 45 degree angle. I'm always at an angle with my spoke shave, so I'm never straight across. What this does, this surface is about three quarters of an inch wide. If I rotate it, now it's almost twice as wide, twice as long. And that allows me to just hit the high spots on this cut. You're just under the shoulder. I'm going for a snug fit, so it, it's snuggish. 
I'll have to, I can put it together by hand, but I'll probably have to take it apart with a mallet. I don't want to put it together with a mallet because I can split things, and I've split enough joints that I don't want to keep doing that. So, um, so we want to get started. So far, and I'll take it up to there. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Half and half? Yeah. So, it comes to you as a two pound cut. Two pounds of shellac flakes, one pound, or one gallon of alcohol. 